hello everyone welcome back to my channel mind your exam so in this video we will be studying about the second most important responsibility of the data link layer after flow control and that is error control so error control is required when we know that the data during transmission can uh, get garbled or can be changed or modified due to some reason okay so to handle transmission errors we have two options of performing error control the first is of using error detecting codes and the second option is using error correcting codes now what is the difference between them so as the name suggests error detecting code both of them includes some redundant information but the redundant information in error detecting code is just enough so that the receiver can know that some error has occurred okay so error detecting codes just tell the receiver that some error has occurred they do not inform the receiver or the receiver cannot know from an error detecting code what error has occurred which bits have been changed what is the modification from the original data to the data that he or she has received so the receiver can only know that some error has occurred whereas in contrast to error detection in error correcting codes the redundant information that is included is sufficient for the receiver to know that an error has occurred and to also know that what the original data was so that the error can be corrected okay so the receiver when he uses the error correcting code he or she can correct the error that has happened so here in this case the error is being detected as well as it can be reversed back and corrected by the receiver so the redundant information here is giving more information more uh, it is it is better informing the receiver about the error and how it can be corrected now error detecting codes are useful over reliable channels reliable channels which do not have noise which in which even if an infrequent error occurs that means reliable channels will rarely lead to errors so if an error occurs the data can be resent so that the retransmission in most cases is the correct one so that is why error detection codes are used over reliable channels like fiber optic cables because the even if at uh, some rare occasion an error occurs when the receiver asks the sender to retransmit the data then the retransmission in mostly be uh, correct it will not be garbled because it is a reliable channel now in error correcting codes it is useful in the case of noisy or unreliable channel such as wireless links okay and why it is useful here because if the channel or the link is noisy and many errors occur often then the receiver should have the capability to detect and correct the errors rather than every time send asking the sender to resend because if the errors are occurring often the receiver should have that capability to start correcting the errors if the errors are detected okay now some examples of error detecting codes are parity checksum and cyclic redundancy check which is also known as crc and some examples of error correcting codes are hamming code parity check codes reed solomon codes and binary convolutional codes okay so this was the difference between error detection and error correction i hope you have understood both these topics and you can write these differences in your exam if asked thank you for watching this video if you want to study any specific topic from our channel let us know in the comment section below till we meet in the next video mind your exam